Hey guys, I thought I would use this as a way to communicate with all of us that are going to Montana and kind of give you a play-by-play uh, as to what to expect. So day one, we're going to be wanting to show up at the airport, unfortunately, at 5 a.m. Probably going to leave Moxville at 4 o'clock and take a straight shot uh, to the airport. Uh, those of us that are flying on um, Delta should be arriving in Bozeman sometime around 10:30, 11 o'clock. We're going to be uh, getting mom, dad, and I will be there pretty early. Uh, ben, Ashton, Lewis, and Elizabeth will be arriving uh, sometime around 2 o'clock. So I should already have the vehicle ready to go. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, get in the Suburban and we're going to drive straight to Big Sky, uh, Montana, which is just outside of West Yellowstone. And uh, I suspect we're going to get there and have a late supper. Uh, there'll be some beautiful scenery between Bozeman and West Yellowstone, but the actual uh, uh, touring will not start until the next day. So we're going to stay at Buck's 4T Lodge, uh, and that's a recommendation by Dan. He said it's a pretty nice place to stay. Uh, Thursday morning early, we're going to get up and we're going to spend the entire day touring basically from Yellow, uh, Old Faithful down through Yellowstone, and we're going to drive through the Grand Tetons. Uh, pretty much the, the trip is going to be a vehicle trip for the first two days. Uh, the views are going to be unbelievable. We will stop, obviously, to eat, and um, we will stop if you see something that is of interest. But we're going to end Thursday in Rexburg, uh, Idaho. Beautiful country, according to Dan. It's actually the second largest Mormon tabernacle uh, in the nation. So we'll be able to see that if you have any interest in that. Uh, Friday, we're going to get to see the backside of the Grand Tetons. We're going to make our way up from Ashton up to Ennis, from Ennis over to Winston, and Winston to Dan's house. He's ready. Are you? Kicks. Anything you want to say to Elizabeth? Ain't nothing but a thing. So we'll spend the night, uh, Friday night, and the rest of the time uh, at Dan's. Uh, get, we'll, we'll definitely need to get our rest Friday night because Saturday is a very long uh, and big day. Uh, we're probably going to be getting up fairly early, meaning 7, 30, 8 o'clock, to head into Helena. Uh, that is the day of the Last Chance Gulch auction and rodeo uh, it is all day uh, long so we're gonna get there the auction I'm not sure when it begins uh, probably after lunch and uh, so the auction will probably take two to three hours it's a lot of fun Lewis will uh, call bids all right now how many dollars would it be how about two would it be two two would it be two now two and a quarter now two fifty now two seventy five three now four uh, I'll be calling bids of course Dan and his brother Doug will be calling bids uh, if Ben is interested, he can be a ring man uh, or a bid spotter. Uh, if not, you can just sit in the stands and watch the game. Uh, when that's over, we're going to have a little bit of a supper, concession type food because it's a fair. And uh, that evening around 6 o'clock, uh, it will be cooling down and the rodeo will crank up. Uh, they'll be bucking Broncos, bareback, uh, team roping, and of course, bull riding. So Sunday is going to be rest day after the long day on Saturday. So we're going to be able to catch up and we're not going to be doing much at all. We might take a drive around Canyon, uh, Canyon Prairie, uh, Canyon Ferry. Uh, we may shoot some gophers. Dead. Uh, you'll enjoy that, Ben. I promise you, Lewis, and I love it. And uh, we're also going to be uh, preparing for Monday, which is going to be our fly fishing trip. We're going to the gates of the Rockies. It's going to be an incredible day. The scenery is 
uh, unreal being in the boat and seeing the canyons are just amazing. Uh, I expect we're going to catch fish and we're going to have a great time doing that. Monday night we will um, go out to eat probably with Dan and Leo. We're probably going to take them out as a gesture of our appreciation for them letting us stay at the ranch. And on Tuesday, uh, I have no idea at this point. And Wednesday, I believe, is the day that we are heading back. So, um, we're going to be getting back in town uh, very late. So, uh, I hope this gives you an overview of what we're going to be doing. It's going to be fun. Uh, it is my place. I love it. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys that have not been there. And of course with mom and dad, Elizabeth and Lewis, who have uh, put a piece of their heart in Montana.